guys, welcome back. Today's video is the basic of boots combat edition. So I have a few other videos on boots, so I'll link those below. But this video is when we were talking about how to take care of them, how to shine them, blisters, things like that. Let's get started. So when it comes to choosing your boots, these, these things right here, yeah, these were my first pair of boots. And as you can tell, I ended up having to like, I don't even know what I did to like, there's holes in the bottom, so I like duct tape things to the bottom, so like I'd have something to actually stand on besides the ground. Um, they don't shine super well, they're not real leather. They're your first like boot. Most people look at these as like a first boot. The last few, if you're doing a lot of things, will last you nine months to a year in decent condition. So in my three years of cap, I've gone through two pairs of these and not really high quality boots. They're called jungle boots, just your decent. So if you're gonna be a cap, I, I call those like the bottom totem pole of boots. So I, I suggest that you go something with a little higher um, middle class boots, not the bottom, but not necessarily the top because who knows how long you're gonna stay in cap, who knows long, how fast you're gonna be growing, things like that. Get a medium boot. Um, because a lot of people prefer the side zipper, so that may be something to look into. I currently have these bad boys, the Bates and a Bond, and I really like these. Um, they're a little weird to get used to, but I feel like they work really well now, and they're completely waterproof. I literally was walking in the water and it was all good. I really like these boots. They seem to work really well, and these would be your high class. These just cost about $100. Um, when it comes to shiny, now liquid polish is something that a lot of people use and that's a huge no-no because it ends up ruining your boot. Uh, you're gonna have to just strip it later and it doesn't produce a good shine. It just produces like a glimmer over the top so it looks like you kind of put some work into it, but there's not like the real shine that you would see on a normal pair of boots. So what you're gonna have to do is get some Kiwi polish. Get some Kiwi polish a brush something like this get a brush and just go at it um there's plenty of videos on how to do that on youtube so i'll put some of those below but it's basically just involves putting some polish on rubbing it off putting some on rubbing it off no fun process one thing i've really been liking lately is this it's called leather cream see griffin leather cream and it's like this weird consistency. It's a little, uh, it's more puffy. I guess you could, it's more puffy maybe than shoe polish. It's definitely more of a cream consistency. And this costs about $3, but I feel like it really helps with shine a lot more. Make sure you're wearing good quality socks because I feel like that's a major thing. That will also help you prevent blisters. Also, if you tie up your boots really tight, that will also help against blisters. Um, blousing bands right here. These work wonders. They're just like these little things and they have like hooks. Uh, or you can just use hair bands. They work the same. You just put them around your ankle. I have a video link below. So those work really well. Make sure you have the black socks, good quality. Uh, a lot of sports ones, Nike socks, they work pretty well. A lot of people like calf socks because they feel like it gives them more support. Although I feel like that's completely unnecessary. Get good quality boots, good quality socks, good quality shine. Once you get a good shine in there, it'll last you forever. It'll be very nice. Um, and I think that's pretty much all I have. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!